Hi folks and welcome back to Fishing with Dan. Well today we're going to have a discussion on how to play big fish using the reel. Uh, do you do the back wind technique to allow the fish to take line or do you allow the clutch to do the work for you? Now this discussion has been raging for probably as long as I can remember and I go back to the 1950s. But certainly um, in the 1960s, I remember having this conversation with a young friend of mine, and it seems that it's still going on even today. And in fact, this particular video has been prompted by one of my viewers called Tony, who sent me in this, this comment slash question. And I'll just read this to you. I notice you were backwinding on the larger fish. Friends and I often argue about the pros and cons of this. I'm also a backwinder, by the way. My justification is that, apart from it's the way I've always fished, and it's tough to teach an old dog new tricks, where I fish there are some awful snags. I thus want to set the drag tight. If they get to the snag, I lose them, so they break me and I lose a hook, or I turn them. Friends prefer to change the drag settings mid-fight, which is not something I like to do. So over to you, Den. Why backwind rather than solely rely on the drag? Okay, so what we're going to do today is I've uh, gone through some of my uh, videos and tried to give you some examples of what we're about to talk about. So the first example then is uh, me backwinding on a large fish and the second example will be me using the drag on a large fish. And this is really to give you a, a flavour of what we're talking about and especially for any of the newer anglers out there who aren't, who aren't absolutely sure of what I'm talking about, at least this will make it absolutely obvious. <laughs> I just put the rod down to uh, to grab some ground bait and uh, the float went under. I was looking for it on the, the zoom camera and um, it's uh, shot out there. <laughs> and it's a good fish too. As you can see I'm having to back one because I haven't actually got the clutch sorted out just properly yet. Let's see if that's any better. Right. So that's the first one then. As you saw, I was backwinding and it did look rather ungainly and uh, I didn't feel I was necessarily in total control of that fish and had it gone much faster, I think I'd have probably struggled. Have a look now at this second um, clip where I'm using the, the clutch. Letting it go through, but that could well be a bite that one. Or certainly something in the area. And Yes. See what I mean? Just a bit of control is all you need. Well, they don't half go in here, don't they? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, okay, fish. It's somewhere out in the middle now. Now, I don't know how big this thing's going to be, but it's definitely going to be bigger than five pounds. Okay, so you can see on that one, I've got the, the clutch set um, to a level where I, I felt it was about right, and you could see the fish tearing off uh, into the distance, and I felt much more comfortable with that. But which is right? Let's look into that now. In this next clip, you're going to see me sitting on a large open reservoir. It's the height of summer, the carp are at their absolute fittest, and let's just see how I get on. Go pro, start recording. <laughs> First bite. And it's not stopping. These fish just go. Just go. And it's probably not even all that big. And trust me, this clutch is wound down reasonably tight. Let's just give it a bit more tightness just to be on the safe side. But uh, they've really got some strength. You wouldn't believe it. Okay, well, I think if I'd have tried to use the backwind technique on that particular fish or any of those fish on that day, I'd have really struggled to get control. Not only that, if the reel is going backwards like this, you're in danger of losing control, or indeed sometimes if the fish takes and it's actually running before you've picked it up and struck, the reel handle's going backwards like that. So trying to grab it 
is really, really painful for me. So for me on that sort of instance, the backline technique isn't the way to go. So now let's have a look at the next circumstance that Tony mentioned. Uh, and in this case, we're looking at snags. And in the next clip, you'll see that I've got rushes across from me and there's a quite a big bank of them. So I'm fishing probably that far away from them. And let's see how I got on on this one. Yep. Oh, <laughs> and out them reeds. And out, out, out. <laughs> Come on, get out. Get out, that's it. Yes, right, we're out. Whew. So of course, this time, if I had the clutch set in the same way as I had previously, those fish would have been straight out the back of the reeds and I'd have lost hooks and floats and, and literally everything. So yes, there are definitely times when you do have to literally uh, tighten the clutch down. Um, I think I had a couple of clicks come out of that one, so maybe I could have tightened it a fraction more. But the other thing I found was that I was able to, if I needed to, reduce the drag on the reel as I was getting the fish further in. But initially, if I hadn't have had that uh, clutch or drag set really tight, I wouldn't have got most of those fish in. Well, now you've seen the evidence, what's the verdict? Well, for me, um, there is no strict, it must be this way or it must be that way, uh, because it all depends on the circumstances. As you saw from the last clip, um, with all those rushes in the way, if I hadn't had the clutch tightened down pretty damn tight, then I'd have been losing fish. So in that circumstance, using the, uh, the clutch to play the fish was completely wrong. Having said that, when you watch some of the earlier um, clips, the way those fish were taking off at such a rate of knots, if I'd have tried to backwind, I'd have been all over the place with it. So, as I say, for me, it all depends on the circumstances. And if you feel I'm sitting on the fence, please feel free to put something down in the comments and also let me know your own thoughts on the matter. So anyway, that's the verdict for me on whether you should backwind or whether you should use the clutch to play a big fish. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, click that like button. If you want to subscribe, feel free. And until the next time, bye for now.